Well, our long provincial nightmare is over as the Leafs have finally signed Mitch Marner. The deal is for six years, uh, just over $65 million. It's a $10.893 million average annual value. Uh, no surprise that it's front-loaded with a shitload of bonus money, almost $39 million in the first three years. Uh, it's got a no-move clause in the last two years. Interest- interestingly, almost $150 million of the 180 allocated to Tavares, Matthews, and Nyland in the recent contracts has all been signing bonuses. So Toronto's got the money to do it, and they're doing it. Biz, what do you got on this one, my man? He's going to be getting the same uh, size biweekly paychecks as I was, Mitch Marner. The only difference being <laughs> that the bonus money at the start of every year. But uh, great structure for him, guys. I mean, fuck. I want to say just the the media in general kind of inflated that contract with with all the drama that went on. Like, I'm thinking he's a million dollars overpaid, and I don't think a winger should be paid as much as he's making. Now, saying that, he made a very good case um, with 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 what happened with the Matthews contract and how Matthews has missed some time over the past two years with injuries, and and Marner fucking got 90 points. Like, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to tell the guy that he he can't make you know like half a million less than what, what the guy who you signed before him is making. So I think that that Marner's play along with the media put the Leafs in a very difficult situation. I think that moving forward, hey, now you got your core locked in. I mean, I guess other than, than your, your stud defenseman, which has to happen next offseason. So Dubas is going to get right back into the mix. But, hey, listen, you got your money. Now it's time to go show your stuff. And, and a lot of comments underneath are, are people chime in going back to the Nylander deal saying like Nylander is a bargain compared to that. It's like, whoa, 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 pump the fucking brakes. The first year of his $7 million a year contract, he didn't play up to that. So stop telling me how much that bargain is. Now, if these guys can put their shit together and get to work and, and at least get, go make a deep run in the playoffs, let alone winning a one round, then – then, hey, maybe they weren't grossly overpaid, but now they got to fucking prove it. Yeah. Uh, here's When the deal came out, right away I said, that's it? Like, not that's it in terms of that's what he's making. Like, it took him, it took him that long to figure this out. It didn't right. seem the craziest, like, ordeal or numbers-wise, years-wise. <laughs> it makes total sense. Uh, it's right where we kind of guessed he would come in at. Just funny, it, it, it ended up taking as long as it did, but... It's nice to know for, for Leafs fans that there's no drama moving forward because if, it, it just would have been such a gong show like the first few games of the year. If he's actually missing games, it, it would have taken away from the entire team. It would have been distractions nobody wanted, nobody needed. So you could say what you want about overpaid, underpaid. If he goes and has six years similar to the last year, no one will bitch or say a word. They'll probably say it's a great deal. So it all comes down to what's he going to do now and what that team's going to do moving forward. If Morgan Riley ends up being the same situation, I mean, one, maybe they can get him signed during the season. Maybe he's agent and, and as a player, he doesn't want to do it and he'll do the same thing next summer. But they do have some key guys locked up, their key guys. And it's just fun and not fun, but it's good for Maple Leafs fans to know that there's just no bullshit going forward. They're just happy that the team is set in stone. And another thing, Ari, I'll toss it over to you because you usually give more of a fan perspective. I feel that he's lost the, the, the court of public opinion. A lot of Leaf fans are not excited about this deal. A lot of Leafs fans feel like really? it's pretty, a, lot, I, I, I'm, a lot of people are being vocal about it online. Now, there might not be the majority of people, but they feel that he's handcuffed them a little bit moving forward. And, and especially at the point when I think everyone caught wind that they were offering like 10 and a half for – or no, sorry, it was like what – was, what was the deal? Like uh, three years at 10 or – a year? Or- yeah, well, there were a couple of different offers that got leaked, and who knows how fucking true those are, too, when they get leaked. Though, I'll have to Co- correct, but I, I do believe that, that there was word coming from Toronto that they were offering a very sizable contract where it's like, buddy, you're fucking, you might be missing out on three, four million dollars here that you're asking for, but like, you're going to remain a leaf. Like, it's clear that you really don't want to play for us if you won't take a little bit of a hometown discount. So, like I said, uh, nothing against the guy. He's an incredible player. I do think he handcuffed them a little bit. Things should be interesting moving forward. And he even said a comment. He said he was, you know, when he was out in public, he'd have like 13 year olds being like, sign your contract, sign your contract. And, 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 it, and it got to him a little bit. I don't know if you read that on online. He's, yeah, I mean, he's, go, he's gone up this year. Sorry. All right. He's gone up all three years. Goals, assist points, obviously. And 
if this year he goes out, he's coming off 94 points and played every game. If this year he comes out, plays 80 games and gets, I don't know, 71 points, what are people saying in Toronto? They're fucking losing their minds. They're fucking <laughs> bitching. So it's kind of a it, – I'm not going to say it's a no-win situation because the man just became set for life and rich as hell, and I'm happy as hell for him. But go out, get 95 points, you won't hear from anyone. Do anything less and you'll get chirped. It's just that's the way it is. That's the way – the same kind of reason on a different scale we talked about uh, Gardner not wanting to sign in Montreal. There will be pressure. I think the kid knows that. He's from there and understands it. But it's going to be a whole different ball game approaching the season and within games for him. I mean, the rest of his career is a leaf.